Hi, beautiful, and hello, Jojo Siwa stands. Jojo, first of all, congrats on the coming out. Yes, girl, welcome. Welcome to the clan. I'm so happy for you. And I also owe you an apology. A few years ago, I made a, a reaction video to your hair. I wasn't very nice in that video. I wasn't expecting it to get 20 something million views and I kind of made fun of your hairline a lot. That was immature and I grown a lot since then. I've learned how to not be so mean. I hope you accept my apology. You already know, today we're gonna look at the evolution of Jojo Siwa's hair. And if you think the only look she's ever done is the side pony, you're wrong. I had Emma pick out a bunch of different Jojo Siwa hair looks for me to look at today and <laughs> give you my opinion on them. And then later on, I will tell you what I think Jojo Siwa should do with her hair. And maybe one day I'll actually do it to Jojo Siwa's hair. So let's see what other looks Jojo Siwa has done besides the side pony with the bow. Let's do it. Up first, we have this picture. So here she is, Jojo, at some kind of award show. It looks like Nickelodeon or something. This, I feel like, is the age it all started. She looks very, very young. She has these crimped waves with the very large Jojo Bobo. It is rhinestone and sparkly and beautiful and pink and big, and we have the hair slicked back into the ponytail. I love it. I think this look is so fun for the age she's at in this photo. I think it's amazing. It doesn't look crispy. Listen, she was living and she still is. I'm fully here for this look right here. I wouldn't do a thing differently, honestly, for this. So bravo. We're starting off really good. I'm excited to see what else we got going on. Whoa. What is this, honey? She's fully crimped. Um, do I love it? Uh, actually, I don't know. I'm undecided on this one. If I were whatever eight years old, I would be living for this look. Maybe as an eight year old, I do actually really enjoy this. The crimp, I don't even know where they found a crimper like that. That's a full on early 2000s crimper. Like that's a Con Air crimper. This hairdresser said, I'm a crimp this sh or she did it herself. We also put some blue, purple, and pink extensions in and some green. The only thing I'm gonna say for this look is I wish the bow wasn't white. I feel like you have such a colorful look, you should put color in the bow too, or wear like a rainbow bow, or wear like a blue bow, or a pink blow, or a purple blow, blow, bow. I just feel like the bow kind of tamed the look down and brought it to a place it shouldn't have gone to, which is boring. And I feel like the whole look should have been ba 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 ba, cause that is Jojo's style. And we wanna keep it like that. All around, I don't hate it, kind of fun. It's growing on me. Okay. Now now we have this gorgeous how to get the Jojo side ponytail. This looks to be the same look as before, but with some more curls. I mean, we're really switching it up. She's giving it to us. She's giving us all the looks and we got the rainbow bow going on. Is this a hint that Jojo was not straight? <gasps> Girls dropping hints on us even back then. Okay, we love an icon. She is so freaking cute. Also, we have to talk about the elephant in the room because I know in my last video about her hair, I did talk about her hairline quite a bit. I can admit it when I'm when I'm when I do things that are mean. She has had this hairline for her entire life. I really don't think it's because of the ponytail. At one point in my life I thought it was, which is why I kind of came for her um and was like stop doing that, but it's not. It's just her hairline. It's a wonderful hairline. Even the celebrities you see on red carpets with the ponytails, they don't have perfect hairlines either. It's all colored in with eyeshadow and with other kinds of powders to make their hairline look super full right at the front. Jojo could even do that as well. She could put a little powder up there, make her hairline look super round, but who cares? Nobody's perfect. I love this look still. I mean, I think it's just so fitting for her age. And I also just love an iconic hair look. When somebody sticks with something for a really long time and it becomes their style, like Ariana Grande's ponytail. I wish I could do that. I wish I could, but I just don't have it in me to keep the same style for that long. It's just too much for me. Um, I like change a lot. Still really cute. Love the waves. We did a little wand moment. We did the slick back moment. And it's looking fierce. Okay, so I've seen this video before. We got the bow. She's looking iconic per huge. And she's so little and young and adorable. And the bows just keep getting bigger. You know that I'm not shy when it comes to, to wearing outlandish clothing and doing things that are a little tacky. I'm not shy about it. So I will keep doing it. And I'm sure Jojo will too. I do still have to say it is a bit concerning how tight the ponytail is. She gets it snatched. And that's really all that matters, baby. Sometimes that's all that really matters because I have a hard time getting ponytails that snatch sometimes. And this thing is really up there and there's no bumps. She said, no baby, we don't want no speed bumps in our ponytails. It is snatched to the gods. Sometimes you need six hair ties to hold up your hair. That's when you know that 
It is not moving. That's the kind of security I want in my life and relationships in my life. I want six hair ties worth of security. And boom, just like that, we have this next photo. Apparently she had her hair straight at one point. I have seen a few things of her hair down. She always seems to have this very severe side part. If that is what makes you feel good, then that is what makes me feel good. As long as your confidence is there, it's all that matters. However, I will give my opinion. It's not exactly a part. It's more like a comb over, I would say. And that's not even like a, supposed to be a diss. It's just literally like, it's just literally taking combed over from one side. And I would I wouldn't mind seeing you with a part. I think you have great body in your hair. I love the color of your hair. I think you really rock this bright beachy blonde. It's kind of a warmer tone blonde. I really like it. It complements your eyes and your skin tone. It looks beautiful and it's great for how young um, she is at this age in this photo because it's very like toe head kind of look where like a child has very blonde hair naturally, but I don't think this was her natural hair color. And I think it was colored like this. Could be wrong. The hairline's still the same guys. Just chill with that. Let's stop giving her for that. I think it's really pretty. Pretty. I just wish there was maybe a part. Now, we are going on to, apparently she did have a part. This is iconic. She looks still very young. However, she looks a lot more mature. I think that her hair is getting a little bit too blonde at this point. Her roots look a little bit blown out and like a little too white compared to her ends. I would have liked to see more of a sort of variation in blonde tones, starting at the roots, going to the ends. This thing is just a little bit, like light bulb um, on the top. The haircut's cute. I like that she's a little bit of layering in the front of her hair. And I like that the length is pretty long. And we got a side part here. We have a side part, guys. It looks good. I like this one. This is pretty. Okay, whoa. I have never seen this. What is this, Jojo? I don't even know how Emma found this. How do we find dark hair Jojo? What, where is this coming from? I just looked up um, Jojo Siwa different hairstyles and that was and that, that it, came up. That's it. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is a winner. Um, whoa. I've just gotten so used to seeing her with light hair. This dark hair is really throwing me off. Whoa. <laughs> Do I love it? The answer is no. It looks a little bit like it was done at home. Based on the roots being lighter than the ends, the ends being a lot, a lot darker, that's because usually like if you use a box dye, it's really gonna grab on the ends and make the roots a lot lighter because of the heat from the scalp. So we're getting kind of a variation of color that I'm not too fond of. And the color is super warm. I mean, it really brings out the warmth in her skin. She looks very tan. The brown hair would look cute if she did it right with a little bit of highlights in the front, maybe all around with a darker uh, root color and lighter ends color. Just some variations of brown in there would have looked a lot better. And again, she has a little bit of a comb over on this one and the length is still pretty long, but I like the style of it. She's doing a loose wave moment. It's cute. I'm into this. Just the color, could, I could live without it. If it was done well, I would like it, but uh, I, don't, I don't know. It's just not exactly my favorite. So now we have this look that Colleen Ballinger did on Jojo and I'm sorry, Colleen? Slayed this hair. We're getting a full on part going on. There's no comb over here. We're still doing the side part. I want to see a middle part. I hope there's at least one middle part photo in here, but the side part is looking cute here. I like the kind of strong wave we're getting in her hair. It's really pretty and the hair color looks great. She has that darker root with the lighter ends. It's looking really pretty. It's still a little long, maybe a little longer than I would like it. It looks like it got trimmed recently and she had some layering in there. I like this look all around. I think it's pretty good and I'm not mad at it. It whatsoever. Bam. Now we have this. This caught me off guard a little bit too. Woo. I mean, this was clearly like a quick, I'm gonna throw my hair up for this video thing. I'm not gonna go too hard on her with this. My hair doesn't always look like this either. I usually just have my hair sticking straight up in the, during the day, but. You know, I hate scrunchies. I know guys, I know, I know I should get on this trend with scrunchies, but I can't do it. I can't get myself to like them and I don't want to. I don't know all you girls watching are like, they are the sh but I'm just gonna have to disagree with you. They look bad. We have little pieces going down on the front. Her hair is pretty much the same color as the last photo. Not much great going on here. I don't like this style. The fanned out top knot. I could live without it. I could actually survive my whole life without seeing this again. So Jojo's mom apparently gave her a little makeover and she got a whole new hair look. This is interesting. Some bubble braids. And then we're putting a bunch of barrettes and elastics and she is, ah. Uh, I mean, mom definitely knows how to do some hair. It's cool looking. It looks intricate as well. You know what would make this look better? Maybe if we did one one side with those little bubble little, little, little bubble things and then the other side down. I think it would balance the look out a little bit more. Mom, you did well though. You really executed that look. And Jojo, you look fabulous. I just wouldn't have chose that look for you. It's not my favorite.
Okay, now we're on to a TikTok. I think I've seen this one before. Yes, it's the wipe it down challenge. I think that's what it's called. And what? Yo, she's looking grown. She's rocking the Gucci because we all know she's rich as f from those bows. And that is some hair. The part, is, it's still part, it's the side. We act, Jojo and I actually have the same look. Did I do that on purpose? No, I didn't, but. I'm kind of glad we're kind of hanging out now, Jojo. I kind of feel like I have a part of you in my head. It's basically like this. It's like one side's back, the other side's The waves look beautiful. I would have liked them even a little bit more relaxed, maybe. The hair color is looking fabulous. It's still pretty much the same blonde, but she never really has bad hair color, which I really like and appreciate. As an influencer, you can really go and do some crazy things to your hair. But Jojo said, I am going to keep my hair this beautiful blonde color forever because it looks good on me and because I don't want to ruin it. And I appreciate that a lot rather than doing crazy colors and then trying to dye it out of her hair. You know, it can be a little risky. Her hair is really long. I would like to see it shorter at least once. I'm not head over heels about this look, but I do like it a little bit more than the Jojo bow. That she still rocks, but um, it's good, it's cute. Okay, now I believe she's doing a Visco girl thing in this photo, um, a Visco girl makeover, and I think she nailed it. I think she looks so cute. I don't hate her hair like this. I usually hate thrown up messy buns, especially like the accordion style ones, but this looks adorable. I like the little pieces that are curled down around her face, and I don't know, I really, I really like the look on her. It's cute and she looks like her age. I enjoy it. Now we have this iconic collab with Mr. James Charles. Okay, ah, yes, the, the classic, the partial comb over. Her hair looks a lot darker here. I like it. I think I like her hair a bit lighter. Um, This is still a pretty blonde. It's a little more of a mature blonde, less of that like toe head child kind of blonde look, but I like it. Um, The style is definitely something. It's definitely like we got a little volume going on there. It's a little bit dated for me in my, like my opinion, but I like like the fact that it, she changed it up for this video and didn't do the ponytail situation. It's cute. I don't hate it. I just wish we weren't so hard to the side, you know? It's very, very deep. It's a very deep side part. I have to admit it. And um, the curls are, are very curly. So I think everything needs to be tamed down a few notches is what I want. All right, we got another TikTok. Oh, we have a slow motion hair flip on our hands and we have the side part again. Yay. Oh my God. Totally. Because we can't ever just not do a side part. We just do one without it. I do like her hair. It seems to look being like it's natural form or something. I don't know. I love the wave in her hair though. If this is her natural hair, all she needs to do is like use a little bit of a waving product, <clears throat> wave tech, and um, just scrunch it in her hair and her hair will dry even more flawlessly and it'll be defrizz and she can wear that look for a few days. I really, really like her hair like this and crimped and wavy. It's gorgeous and I think it's her natural hairstyle. So brava, I love it. Well, I've definitely seen a lot of Jojo hair today and I have decided I would like to share my desires for Jojo's hair. What I would do if I could just get my hands on that head. Here's what I'm envisioning, okay? A haircut to about the collarbone. Add some more layering in there, get a little texture going. It'll help make your hair look thicker and fuller. So I think that would be perfect length for you. And I just want to see you with a shorter look because you've never really done that. And I think it'll look great with your face shape. Having it at about this length is pretty much good for every face shape because it's not accentuating anything or bringing attention to anywhere besides your beautiful collarbones. So I think that'd be a great length for you. Besides that, if you guys want to know what color I would do. Well, I feel like there's going to be a time where Jojo doesn't wear as crazy of clothing. I could be wrong. I feel like what she could do is express herself even further through her hair and do a little something extra. I'm thinking a pink hair moment. I think all over pink or pink on top, purple underneath. A variation of that would look really great. But if Jojo were like, uh-uh, I don't want to do that, I would do probably like a root shadow on her and give her a little more of a mature look. Do the same haircut about the collarbones, bring out some really nice money pieces in the front, add a little more depth to your hair. I think it'll look amazing and a little bit more mature. We could even throw in a bow somewhere. Also, last but not least, I am dying to see a middle part. I'm itching to see it. It would look so good. And I know it can be uncomfortable at first, but I think you would rock it. There it is. That's my suggestion. Take it or leave it. If you guys are not already subscribed, make sure you do write down below. Get to it. Uh, make sure you click the like button and the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. If you'd like to follow me everywhere else here on my social media handles all around me, 
to it. Here is my number. Yes, it's really connected to my phone. Yes, I really do see your messages. And yes, I'll be texting back a few of you guys if you text me right now. Also, this will keep you notified every time I post a new video. If you guys would like to shop my hair care and color line, you can do so at Xmodo Hair. It is linked below. You can also get some hair inspiration from our Instagrams at Xmodo Hair and Xmodo Color. Make sure you check out my Live Your Extra Life merch. Here it is. It's so freaking cute. I wear it every day. And you can now shop it at xmodohair.com, also linked below. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Sarah. She says, hi, Brad. I've been constantly watching your videos and I love them. Thanks, Sarah. I've been wanting to do something different to my hair, but I don't know what to do. I would love your opinion. I'm a mommy, so I need a mommy makeover. I got you, Sarah. What I'm thinking is you cut a couple inches off of your hair and do a little more layering. And also I would suggest doing a little curtain bang moment. It would look wonderful and comment your face shape and bring out your cheekbones a little bit more. For your hair color, I would say let's get away from the reds and let's do more of like a warm brown as well as add some highlights to really give your hair depth and lighten it up. Your hair also looks a bit more on the fine side. Adding some highlights will help give your hair a little more density. So that is my suggestion. I think it would look wonderful. And if you end up doing it, I would love to see a photo and good luck. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.